Well, I had the job of running the crane, cleaning up a fuel dump where just uh, barrels of stuff was unloaded off the ships. And they just bunched it up, called it a dump. And I would fix them. I had a swamper that would hook the barrels on her drums. And I'd pick them up and move them over to the truck and, and set them down on the truck. They'd unhook them and send them back to the swamper. Uh, he was uh, putting barrels on the truck, as I said, and uh, my swamper looked at a drum and he took his sleeve and, and scrubbed on the end of it to see if he'd get what it said. And he come back and he said, I don't know what that, I got a drum or something, I don't know what it is. And I said, did it say anything on the drum? And he said, the only thing it says is uh, Central Hospital. I said, let's put it on the back of my Jeep and I'll take it down there. We took the drum down to the shop after I got off work and we opened it up to see what was in it. We had a pretty good idea of what was in it. We had poured a little bit out and it, uh, GI cup. And it was What was it? 80 proof alcohol. Oh. So we all got feeling good and then went to supper. We hit the drum in the waste pit. That's where they, they have this all this waste from clothing companies it's, uh, to wipe with clean parts and so on. We hit it down in there. And we uh, had just about the same thing as winning the lottery. Because everybody wanted some and, and we uh, put a terrific price on it because we didn't want to get rid of it. And it so happened that I got the job just a little bit later of Caterpillar Mechanic. Because uh, the guy that had done that work they shipped out. So they gave me the job. And I had 53 tractors to take care of. 13 of them was on deadline. I mean, they couldn't be used. I got to investigate them. They had tags on them. One of them said main bearing. Bad. So I knew a chief in the Navy, down Navy Town. Oh, goodness. Yeah. And uh, I asked him if they had any main bearings for a cow boat. And, uh, We don't, we don't use new parts. Said we take bearings, and melt the babbit out of them, repour them, put them in a new mold, and pour them. And I said, could you pour me a couple of them? Well, he said, there's little tiny differences in them sometimes. Just bring that tractor down with. We'll put new bearings bar bar in it for a price. So 
That cost me a quart. <laughs> I sent, I put the tractor, took a come along, pulled it up on the prime mover and drove right up to Navy Town. He told me to come at night because he's a night man. He put the tractor in the shop, told the boys to tear it down. So he called me a couple of days later and said, the tractor's ready to run. He said, even got fresh oil in it. So I went down, had a guy take me down to the Jeep. And I fired that tractor up and drove it back to the shop. Parked it on the deadline where it was been. And that was about a month, maybe a little more. I got 13 tractors through the Navy machine shop. I had all of them up and running condition. Then I started giving them away. What I mean is, there was officers in charge of various projects that could very well use a, another bulldozer, you know. I'd ask them, you want a better bulldozer? Yeah. Well, down the motor pool one night, bring them out prime mover with you. I'll give you one. I got one ready to go. I finally got rid of all 13 of them. motor officer come down one day and he said, where's them tractors that was on the deadline? I said, they're working. How'd you do that? It wasn't easy. But about a week later, I uh, went to I got up one morning and one of the other fellows got up and was putting his socks on. He said, say, did you read the bulletin board? I said, no. He said, you better read it. So on the way to breakfast, I stopped in the order room, looked at the bulletin board, said, the PFC John Potter promoted to corporal. All because of a quart of medical grade alcohol. Well, it's it, it more like 13 quarts. <laughs> <laughs>